afraid I'm not going to be as funny as you are. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sarah Ullman. I am the co-founder and co-executive director of One Vote at a Time. We are a team of women, of filmmakers, and we make free campaign videos for gun safety candidates. Hundreds of them. So we didn't start out making hundreds of videos. We started out making one single video. In 2016, after the Pulse nightclub shooting, I was mad as hell about guns and decided to try and do something about it. So we made a video to support a background checks ballot measure in Nevada. And on that election night in 2016, it did pass. Wow! Yeah! It was the only bright light in that deep darkness of a night. Um, and uh, we knew that there was more work to do. So in 2017, we decided to go to Virginia and make free campaign videos for candidates who believe in gun safety. And we worked with 19 candidates, and 10 of our candidates won. Oh, wow. Blue wave election. Then in 2018, we knew there was even more work to do, right? A lot of stakes on the table, very scary. So we decided to expand our scope of work we worked in 11 states with 191 candidates across the country. And uh, 83 of them won. 83. And then this year, we decided to go back and finish what we started in 2017. So we went back to Virginia, and we made campaign videos for 16 candidates there this year. And three nights ago, on election night, Nine of our candidates won, and we flipped that shit blue. Uh -huh. I have to tell you, for the first time in a generation, in a generation, in the seat of the Confederacy, in the oldest legislature in the country, in the home of the NRA, a gun sense majority controls the agenda. That's our turf now. Yeah. So, I think you're here tonight because you care. <laughs> right? <laughs> you're here tonight because you don't feel cynical yet. That steady drumbeat of shootings hasn't yet made you feel numb. You're here because the regular slaughter of the American people in communities of color, in instances of domestic violence, in death by suicide by gun, and yes, in mass shootings. This regular slaughter, you know that it's dystopian, and that it's unacceptable, and that it must stop, and it will stop, it will stop. And you are a part of that movement. I want you to take a look at the person to your left, Take a look at the person to your right. They care too. We are here tonight for a night filled with comedy and joy because there's hope in knowing that you're not alone. And the fun and the laughing and the hope, that's a really important part of how we keep fighting. And it's how we keep going. So I want to tell you a little story about um, one of our candidates about about how our team makes a difference. Uh, we worked in 11 states last year, but one of them was Wisconsin. Very gerrymandered, right? Famously so in the Supreme Court for being so badly gerrymandered. Wisconsin Democrats hadn't flipped a seat in a decade. It was like desperate times there. And uh, we worked with 23 candidates, including the Attorney General, the State Treasurer, and 21 state legislature candidates. And so it comes down to the last couple weeks of the race, and Robin Vining is running a good one. She's knocking on all the doors, she's doing everything she possibly can, and the Republicans realize, they're like, uh-oh, we're in trouble here. They got scared. And so they decided to go up on TV with $80,000 of TV ads for her in literally the last week of the race, a race that had not planned to go on TV at all. 
And Robin was out of money, and she was out of time, but she had our video. And she cobbled together, with the help of the state party, $10,000. And they went up on TV the last weekend of the election, and she won by 132 votes. <laughs> 132 yes. votes. She did the work, but she has credited our team and been very generous with including us in the narrative of how she was able to do it. So we need you to help us elect more gun sense champions like Robin. And I actually have a little announcement tonight <laughs> that I wanted to, to share with you all. Uh, we've been planning for 2020, trying to figure out where our next targets would be and election night happened and this state had been on our target list but after three nights ago we are ready to say that we're going to kentucky because yes. we're up. that you can join our team because now I'm grandfathering you all and you're all on our team and the first one is that we need your help to uh, to donate we need more resources to get to 13 states next year right now we have about two-thirds of the money that we need and we're working really hard to close that last gap so I would say right now we have enough money to go to eight states maybe nine um, instead of the 13 that we have targeted. And so I'm going to follow up with you tomorrow. I'm going to send you an email and it's going to have a donate link in there. And if you could click it, and there's also a text to donate here. You'll get the link on your phone if you'd like to do it now. You can take out your phone now, even with a new little home. Uh, and then also, the second way is that you can uh, forward the email to a friend. We have a lot of people that don't know about us, that don't know about our work, and I would love it if you could help us build our San Francisco community. This is our first event here, and we hope it's not our last, uh, because you are our kindred spirits here. So we'll, we want to come back, so please share the word, spread the word. And then, I just wanted to say uh, again, thanks to our host committee, uh, my deepest gratitude to Nate and Anna, and Rohit, and Serena, and Amy, and Kara, and Meredith, and Will. Thank you so much for all of your work. The last thing that you can do to help, this last third way, is that you can vote. So Anna mentioned this. Uh, we are one year out from election 2020, and uh, Holy shit, you gotta vote. <laughs> and don't just vote in the presidential election, vote in your local elections and in your state elections. Uh, we work in primarily state legislatures because that's the place where the battle for gun violence prevention is won or lost. And also, if we ever want to have a chance at uh, gun control on a federal level, we need good districts and states control uh, districting. And so voting in your state and local election matters immensely. I want to just close with saying thank you again for being here. I know that probably some of you in this audience have personally experienced gun violence, and so this issue means something to you. But I also wanted to say to the people who are here who haven't had their lives touched by this issue that you don't have to wait for it to touch your life in order for it to make it, in order to make it your cause. It's a clear moral call to action, and it's something that we can all agree needs to end. And so I invite you, even if it's not your uh, personal experience, to come on board. The water's warm, and we can use all the help that we can get. And I'll close just with. Uh, our name, One Vote at a Time, people always think it's a voting rights organization, and I'm like, yes, in many ways. <laughs> but uh, my hero, Congresswoman Gabby Giffords uh, from Arizona, uh, a hero in the gun violence prevention movement, she survived an assassination attempt and has since become a champion for gun violence.